Welcome to the Imperfectly Empowered Podcast with leading DIY lifestyle blogger, Anna Fulmer, where women are inspired with authentic stories and practical strategies to reclaim their hearts and homes by empowering transformation, one imperfect day at a time. Hopping on here with a Faster Way client, we're going to chat about her experience in the Faster Way to Fat Loss. Uh, Emily, you did the Faster Way a little while ago. You did the six-week program. Um, And I'm curious to hear, when you started the six-week program, was there anything that was surprising to you going into it, my uh, six-week virtual program? What what were you hoping to get out of it? And then was there anything that surprised you once you were in it? Yeah, well, I think my one of my biggest surprises was actually toward the end. So I'm a pretty avid runner, and um, I am not an avid weightlifter or gym rat or anything like that, but I do enjoy running. And so when I entered into the program, I hadn't really been doing anything other than that. Um, and I think one of the things that surprised me is because of the program, I was just doing the at-home workouts and any running and was thinking that uh, – that's something that would negatively impact um, my run times. So I think one of the things that I was really amazed by is towards the end of the program, I tried going back out on a run for the first time in a very long time, and actually all of my mile splits were significantly improved um, from the at-home workouts. And I remember that to me being um, an extra surprising moment because I had expected it to be one of those things where sure you're getting right. better shape, but it's a different kind of better shape and hadn't realized that it would actually positively impact other elements of my fitness like that. So that was a, a pleasant surprise for me from. Yeah. I actually program. remember you texting me saying that being like, wow, just FYI. <laughs> my run. Yeah. yeah. And I think what's interesting about it too is, I mean, there's a lot more, physiological principles that could be talked about there, but this concept that, you know, a holistic approach to fitness, meaning you're not just doing one thing is really beneficial no matter what your fitness goals are. Meaning if you're a runner, you should still be lifting. You should still be doing plyometrics. You should still be stretching, you know, focusing on core strength. If you are a gym bro, if you will, you know, you should still be doing cardio. You should still be... (laughs) able to, you know, maintain that cardio strength, because if you want to get on the basketball court, then you should be able to run two miles solidly. So I think the point is that holistic approach. And in the faster way, we do 30 minute workouts um, at a minimum five days a week. Again, I tell clients, I have had clients that don't do any of the exercises, just focus on the nutritional principles and still see results. So I don't want somebody to be intimidated if you are totally outside of the fitness world. Um, you know, but you really want to dial in on nutrition. Nutrition is 90% of the fat loss pie. So if fitness is overwhelming to you one step at a time, some is better than none. And nutrition is the name of the game. Um, what was your favorite part about the six week program? So initially it's a virtual six week program. Um, and then you can roll into a monthly program, but initially in the six weeks, what was your favorite thing about it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, in terms of the eating, I really liked that they actually had provided almost like recipe books for you. I think for me, especially on the low carb days, I had a hard time imagining what I was going to eat in order to like stay under carb amount. So the fact that they, basically, if anybody's done like a blue apron or one of those things where they like send you, it, it felt kind of like that. Obviously, they didn't send me the Wouldn't that be nice? But <laughs> where you could just. I'm going to try the faster way in this yeah. video. So, <laughs> hey, if you guys are looking for more ideas, Honestly, send me the ingredients for the food. How do I copyright that? <laughs> yeah, can I get in on this? I'm My like, sister would like a check. Yeah. That. If you do this. Honestly, I mean, I, I'd love um, to be a part of moving the business forward. They should, <laughs> might as well just set us the food exactly. at this point. But yeah, no, that would be one of the things that I honestly thought, because it kind of like made one. I know you as my personal coach kind of took this one step further and created like almost like shopping list kind of things, um, kind of identifying like what macros are, what micro, micros Micros, are. macros, <laughs> tomatoes, tomatoes. Yeah, right. <laughs> 
I remember to learn. Um, but yeah, I think having that almost like pre-made recipe book was something that was really helpful to me, especially in imagining those mm -hmm. carb days and what could look like. I think just being surprised at what constituted as high carb yeah. and low carb. Um, and then that like helped was really helpful in weekly planning. I teach and coach, so I have a really busy schedule. So I think for me it was really helpful having as much of that work sort of done yeah. up front for me as possible. They really give you so many resources, and you as a fitness coach provided so many extra resources in that. Um, so for anybody who watches this now or is watching later, the idea is that FasterWay provides a meal guide. So to be clear, it is a guide. They are recipe suggestions that do include the macronutrients, your proteins, fats, and carbs. But it's a guide, which is important. A lot of people come in and they're like, you know, is it a really strict meal plan? Is it really complicated? And the fact is it isn't. Once you understand the basic concepts, it's sustainable. It's the, probably the number one word clients give me as feedback as they're shocked at how sustainable this lifestyle is. Um, it's kind of that, that long-term game. Um, you see short-term results, but then it really is sustainable. So the idea is that you will get a meal guide in the Faster Way app. So when you sign up, and if you sign up even now, even though the actual six-week program doesn't start until August 23rd, if you sign up now, you will get an extra week and a half ultimately free of the Faster Way app, which includes the meal guide. It includes the exercises and the workouts. Um, and you'll get lots of recipes. And were there any recipes that stood out to you? Was there one in particular that you liked? I mean, my favorite was the egg yeah. roll in a bowl for the low-carb day because it was so easy. I actually have the ingredients to make it for dinner tonight at home, or tomorrow night, actually, yeah. um, at home in, in my fridge because tonight yeah. I'll be babysitting yeah. your children. Date night for me and Zach, so it's the blessing of having a sister near. <laughs> <laughs> Peace. Um, so... Yeah, so the meal guide, I highly recommend um, signing up early if you're interested because you do get an extra week and a half of those recipes and a sense of sort of what the uh, nutritional strategies are with the program. And what, so you mentioned the low carb days. What was your least favorite yeah. part of the program? So for me, as an FYI, the low carb days are the hardest for me. The low carb days are like, mm, but they are kind of where that extra fat loss happens by the way so that's a really cool strategy that you'll learn in the program is what carb cycling looks like but um aside from that if there was one thing that you could change about the program what would it be Ooh, that's other really than having question. the faster way send oh. the ingredients directly to your front door which listen i'm talking to amanda trust on this because this is like a whole nother opportunity for them like goodbye hello fresh yeah <laughs> Welcome faster way grocery delivery. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, for me, I think that I would say one of the things, I mean, definitely what you had said was that Mondays and Tuesdays, I think, um, were that, yeah, I think for me, what was challenging is the numbers. So, like, I'm a very goal-oriented person, so I would get really caught up in the numbers, and I think my number specifically was 50 um, yeah. for carbs. Mm -hmm. And so they, under that was really challenging, and I think one of the things I had to learn to do in that was the grace of, like, if I landed between 50 and 100, I saw that as, like, okay, that's still pretty good. Like, that's a... That is still a success in the fact that that's still a lot less carbs than I would right. normally right. be eating average that. So I think for me, just having like being willing to like not get so caught up in the numbers like, oh, shoot, I didn't hit my percentages mm -hmm. just right. Or, oh, no, I've gone over 50 because my temptation, my personality temptation is, OK, well, now I'm over 50. Might as well give up because I didn't meet the right. goal opposed to seeing 75 as still a victory right. for that day. And I think you did a really good job of kind of taking the program a step further and talking a lot about the community accountability aspect and the science behind what's happening that I think is really helpful in getting, like staying away from getting so obsessed with like sort of 
the calorie I think it's counting. Just, I, like I mean, the diet very, calorie uh, counting type of yeah. mindset, which is what the faster way to fat loss really has tried to but, pull yeah. away from. No calorie counting, exactly. you know, and even the macronutrients, your proteins, fats, and and carbs. Yes, we give you a personalized gram goal, but like you're saying, the idea is learning what does that mean in a broader sense for your lifestyle. Like, how do we see results short term, but then ultimately finding those trends? That's like the number one reason that we track is because a lot of people don't realize the trends in their diet um, because tracking is like a full time job. I mean, tracking what you're eating is work. <laughs> it yeah. is work. I would I would say the tracking in general was the yeah. hardest part for me, just taking the time record everything um just then again like as a teacher as a coach you're doing so right. much other stuff it's like one more thing to add to the list and i think that's you talked about sustainability so you know i did my six weeks a full year ago and i do not track anymore but i still use the same general right. principles and i've been like very happy with my results from that since then so tracking i think is really helpful to give you a you, you start to get almost like a sixth yes. sense of like i have a general idea of yeah. the carbs i've had today because i took the time to exactly. track it that one like six week period now i've got a sense of yeah. what it is that my general yeah. should be and so while tracking was not my favorite part i've actually been able to move away from it and be a little more free um in my eating but still at the same time being mm -hmm. aware in general about where like my macros would land yeah and what's interesting for those of you watching this one of the number one trends that i see as a coach in the diets in the nutritional intake of my clients is that and this is actually true for me is our fat intake is too high our protein intake is too low and that's probably the number one imbalance that I see. And then carbs really vary from person to person based on your experiences, some of the diets people have done before. People are terrified of carbs. To be clear, there is carb cycling. We do low carb days, but we eat a lot of carbs in this six weeks. I have had clients literally message me and be like, I will never lose inches. I will never lose weight eating this many carbs. <laughs> And guess what? You do because you're probably eating the wrong carbs at the wrong time for the wrong reason. And that's part of this is learning how to leverage the food that you're eating to work for you, not against you, so that ultimately you can end up thinking less about food. People think so much about food. And the idea is, like Emily just said, you want to create a sixth sense about what you're eating so that it's not a burden because food was meant to be enjoyed. And more importantly, the fellowship around it, which is something I'm really passionate about, um, so, so that being said, Emily, what would you say to somebody who is considering the program? Why would you recommend it to them? And um, in terms of like just people in different stages of life, tell me why you would recommend this program to them. Yeah, um, well, I think one of my favorite elements about uh, this specifically is the personal element to it. So, for example, in a lot of programs, like you get like the meal plan or you get the workout videos, but here the pairing of the online community with a personal trainer is I think is really what sets it apart because not only is it entirely holistic, but you as a trainer, I think, do an excellent job of taking that holistic nature of Faster Way to another level. Like I remember um, there was stuff about how like to sleep well and, and how that can actually benefit this program or the science behind why this is benefiting your body, not only just how it's, you know, what to do, but here's why it works. And I think, um, like you said, that understanding is in a way almost freeing because you can kind of just like trust the process mm -hmm. a little bit, if you will. Um, and I think having somebody there um, to give you that extra information is, okay, so I read this, I get it, now I'm not going to worry about it, now I'm just going to do it because... I have this deeper understanding of why it works. I'm not just kind of like blindly yeah. following a yeah. yo-yo diet thing, some extreme. Um, and I, I really think sort of taking it that extra mile is what for me was coolest about this is like I've never seen, you know, a program that so fully addresses every element of healthy life. Yeah, I love that feedback. That's um... – I think that is true. The faster way is why I became a coach for the faster way. You know, as somebody with two masters in nursing, um, 
it's, it's not a get skinny quick kind of a program. It's live well and prevent disease for life kind of a program, which is what I'm passionate about. And, you know, to be clear too, everybody comes in at different stages. And Emily is a good example of this. I have other clients who would be similar to her. She had very little fat to lose when she came into the program. You know, Emily's already very lean. She's an athlete. You know, she has been able to maintain fitness. Um, and I think you still saw what? I think you lost three inches. I, yeah. 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 Multiple yeah, inches. I think if I, I recall, exactly. your number was still, you know, three inches. And what I always tell clients is, you know, there are people who have a lot more, who have a higher body fat percentage, who will see a before and after like that and be like, well, you know, she didn't have any weight to lose in the first place. And people feel discouraged. Well, I'm here to tell you, first of all, that I want to help you shift your mindset a little bit, because first of all, skinny does not equal healthy. Do not assume somebody is already healthy simply because they're skinny. Knock it off. <laughs> that is a Western-based approach, and America is completely destroying people's understanding of what health really means because we're so appearance-based. So don't assume somebody's healthy just because they're skinny. Um, and more importantly, from a practical standpoint, if these strategies can still help somebody who is already at a healthy body fat percentage lose inches, just imagine what they can do for somebody who has a higher body fat percentage um, in the first place. So if anything, please be encouraged. Don't hear somebody's story who is already at a healthy body fat percentage coming into this program and feel discouraged. You should really feel feel encouraged because there there is hope. There is a way... Um, you know, to lose body fat and in a healthy way and be able to sustain it. Any questions, drop them in the comments when this is uploaded. And uh, feel free to reach out to Emily too if you have questions that you want to hear from a client's standpoint um, or from mine, don't hesitate to ask. Emily, any final thoughts? Uh, you're looking good. I like Thank that you. shirt. It's a good Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. I won't show you what I have on the bottom half. <laughs> Well, it's yeah. appropriate here, but you know, this is the uh, reality of life now. I've seen, I've seen behind the scenes. <laughs> I, I got a pretty. Let's just say I'm very comfortable at the moment. Hmm. All right, guys. <laughs> Emily, good to have you on here again. Feel free to ask us any questions if you have any, and I hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you so much for joining us for this episode of the Imperfectly Empowered Podcast. It is my honor to be here with you. I am so grateful for each and every one of you. If you are watching on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button below so you don't miss a show and leave a comment with your thoughts from today's episode below. If you are listening via your preferred podcasting platform, would you help keep us on the air by rating our show and leaving an honest review of your thoughts from today? In case you haven't heard it lately, your story matters and you are loved. This is your host, Anna Fulmer, and I will see you here next time on the Imperfectly Empowered Podcast.